to a point where like once you get things started, it's hard to stop. It's like Snake, you know. Like mm -hmm. once you start setting up camp, he's like, I, I don't know how to stop this. And everywhere you move, he's he's got something for it, you know. I mean, and you were saying that a lot of Belmonts are just full of a lot of projectiles. I saw Nitro play earlier in quarters against Elegant, and just the the zone that he set up, it looked nearly impossible for Luigi to get in on oh, that God. because he's so good at mixing up what he's doing. Yeah, I was asking uh, Elegant about that earlier, and I was like, so is Belmont's, is, is Belmont's Luigi that bad? He's like, no, I think it's even, but it's just like once he actually starts moving and getting his can set up, it's so hard for me to get in. I was like, yeah, that just, it sounds rough, you know? Yeah, that's the that's the design of the character, too. And Nitro has spent a lot of time, I, I guess, in the lab, you know, trying to trying to figure it out. Because he's doing a lot of stuff uh, and, and has, like, a lot of different loops in his rotation that, uh, you know, I haven't seen from a lot of different Belmonts. So it's on Exax to try to figure out how he's going to do that or get around that, how he's going to get the zone breaking in and see if he can get those edge guards that the Squid Kid can honestly get. Yeah. Honestly, and, and the number one thing about how a matchup is versus Richter is how fast are they? Are they able to break the zone? Inkling is that kicker that can break the zone and can really just get in and get Ooh. in once uh, Richter starts committing to his uh, projectile game. So it, the, the name of the game is like how good is Exax at realizing that Nitro is going to throw out one of his uh, specials and then getting in before he, the chance happens. And like we see right there, he put out the, the chain of justice and he just got through it immediately. In the, oh, big <laughs> F smash. Speaking of big old chains, dude. Board Smash is going to absolutely take that for Nitro to make it an even game. But hey, you were talking about how is Exax going to be able to figure out, you know, how to get around the, how to get around that projectile game that Nitro is setting up because you know, Inkling has the ability to, to, to take advantage of that. And you see that this Splat Bomb is one of those things, as long as he catches the right aerial, or the, the right special, special uh, rather. Yeah, thank you. That, you know, that Splat Bomb can get around it if you throw it in a good arc, and that can set you up for great stage position. It led to a stock for him already, honestly. Right now we actually see Exax getting one of the first grabs I think I've actually seen him do. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. All right, drag down there. I was honestly expecting like another grab, and I don't think I don't think Belmont's have anything like at that percent for an actual true combo. So the up B was still great damage. Yeah, and gets you some pretty good stage control too. You know, set the inkling up above you. They probably have to go off stage if they want to get back to stage. And by the way, very nicely placed holy water there at the ledge so that the fire drips down. You have to hang on to the ledge because if you choose someone, you're gone. Speaking of being gone, run off up B, Exax. I don't know how much Richter experience he has, but the way he's making it look, it looks like he knows his character like, like, like the back of his hand. Mm -hmm. He keeps running off. He keeps hitting him before he can actually tether back because a lot of people, they don't do that, and they think, oh, man, the Belmont's recovery is so good. If they just tether, I can't do anything about it. And if you hit it beforehand, it's so good, and that's what Inkling needs to do. And then he and then he also used the hitbox of the super jump to take it out. Mm -hmm. But right there, you know, trying to get back on stage a little bit too quickly, Nitro's ready to cover it with all those projectiles out there. Again, it's threading a needle to try to get back on stage against this character. Mm -hmm. And he tries for the get-up attack, and yes, it's invincible, but you know, once that runs out, you're still in the, you're still in the pit of fire. Speak of which, immediately gets up into it. That's, that's so frustrating for a lot of people to get through. They just see that fire put on, and they're like, what do I do? I gotta get around it somehow. Great match there from Nitro. Ooh, I do like the fourth throw into the, uh, the roller setup. Get, gets a quick burial, and then you have another mix-up, but you know, he still got some damage for it. Okay. Nitro respecting that once that Holy Water bounces off of the shield, it's not his own. He can get burned by it too, so he backs up a little bit, sets up a new zone, and Exax has got to get around this no, famed, getting up into it again. The famed Ex Richter. Exax is not looking happy about that. And what I what I noticed about that last dog is you saw Exax trying to, like I said, break that zone a lot, but he was just doing it too quick. He keep getting getting caught by like the initial dash of Inkling. He kept running into F-Tilt and all these moves, trying to actually get in, and with the roller too. So he took so much unnecessary percent for that. Mm -hmm. He wasn't being as patient as he usually was, and he, it showed. He lost that stock for it. So yeah. Let's see if he can make the adjustments necessary. I mean, you get you get late into a game, especially against a character like Beaumont, where you're like, all right, I feel like I can kill this character at like, do it now. at 70 instead of 110. So you just hold forward, you try to get that hit, and this character is made to punish that exact thing. So once that game plan was apparent from Exax, Nitro just had to wait for everything to come to him, and he was able to take the game. Yeah, it's the bane of fighting against Belmont. Is you want to get in so much, and then you get hit, and you're like, no, I'm just going to keep going. And then all of a sudden, wait, where did all this damage come from? Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Wow, that was really <laughs> nice from XX, yeah. He, he's respecting the mash. He knows he's not going to get a smash attack off of that, so he just waits for him to come right That's back out. It. Mash ain't going to save you there. That is a high percent, and XX is going to be able to turn around and take this quick first stock. You know, only 40% on him. Actually, really good. Uh, really good percent for him, but as we say, that gets tipper back here. I also like that Exax, you know, after he takes that first stock, he's holding back, he's letting Nitro do his thing with the projectiles and staying out of that zone, but 
you know, platform camping against projectile characters can be scary because a Belmont can use all those projectiles, especially since, you know, that axe goes through a platform to get you out from under there, to stop camping under there and make you actually fight him, which is not what you want to do sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I'm really liking these uh, full hop holy waters, like just cut off access to the second platform. And then he just does like a forward air just to lock off all that space. So you have to come at him from the ground level. And that's right. where Belmont wants to keep you. He wants to keep you on the ground so you run into his, uh, his things. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very reminiscent of what Snake does with those grenades, where if he really wants to find that kill move with that up tilt or something, he'll start putting a lot of grenades on the platforms to try to get you to do what he wants you to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was actually just going to bring that up. So right now, Exact is still doing really well. He already has a Nitro at 100%, and Nitro hasn't even taken the stock yet. Hoo-ha! Ooh! 3-1 to one lead. Yeah, that was, a, that was a really good play there by Exact, because Nitro may have been DIing uh, to try to get away from the fourth throw. He might have been DIing in so that he would be closer to the stage, but the up throw was a great mix-up, allowed him to follow up with that up tilt Ooh, and up, tip upper F smash. Oh, tries wow. to use the up B again to hit him out I'm of the chain. I am astonished he made it back. I am. I'm astonished by this play from Exax. I told him to adapt, and damn, he did it. <laughs> he heard you. He was like, all right, bet. Bet. On God, I'll do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm here. <laughs> all right, but finally, Nitro taking the first stock, but is it too little too late? He's already at 80%, but honestly, the Belmont's all those characters that can rack up damage if you get a little too uh, anxious against them. And as we Ooh. say that, try yeah. to get down throw fair, but not going to hit it just yet. I, nicely timed jump right there for Exax. If he was even a frame later, that forward air was sending him off stage, and he was in for a world of hurt. Yeah, that forward air looked like it just went right through him. Okay, there we go. You see, though, that Nitro, you know, once he gets hit, he's opting for movement to get back to center stage as quickly as possible so that he can set up that zone and be away from the sinkling. And if Exax picks up on that, carries that into the next game, uh, this could be a set that turns out in his favor. But before we even get to that game three, he does have to close out this stock, and Summit could struggle with it. Ooh. Nope, not going to kill just yet, but like I said, he still has two stocks to deal with, and he needs to get this first one off before he takes even more damage. One one mistake, and he gets rollered, he's just dead. He, he, nothing you're going to be able to do about that. Oh, just immediately waiting with the down tilt. I love it. You can see that Exax was about to look for that roller, too, because he was about to start walking to center stage to see if Nitro would approach him and then turn around and get him with that special, because it's a side B. You can just do it while you're going in any direction. Go the direction you want to go. Mm -hmm. Ooh, All right, yeah. down air fair. I love the... Oh, the idea. Holy water? No, not gonna kill just yet. I would have loved to just see like maybe a runoff <gasps> F tilt. Oh, not gonna hit. Another F tilt, get oh, out man. of there. 160%. Yeah, yo, Nitro's uh, been following the DI on that stock of Exax really, really well. And now you can see Exax wants to get this last hit so bad at 178, oh, it takes one. There. A little too aggressive right there. You can tell Exax is like, I, I don't really wanna do this game because mm -hmm. another, another like flaw that we see from Inkling is that once you get past that threshold of up throw, up air, not killing, you really just need to get that roller or that backer or that edge guard. Sometimes it can, you can really struggle to get it. Roller, not the fastest option. So sometimes Inkling can actually struggle to kill. And we even saw him live to like 170%. Right, not only that, it'll get beat up by the Belmont projectiles as well. Oh, that too. So you gotta, so you gotta be really careful about it. But that back air in particular was so good just because he caught, uh, he, he put it in such a position where that even if uh, Nitro did not do a jump from ledge, it was safe enough that he could then jump away or go to ledge himself. Mm -hmm. Not that you wanna do that against Belmont, but it's an option that he had available. Yeah, it's just the, it's the beauty of Inkling's back air. Or the Bane if you fight against it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rising back air for any character is so good if you can do it. Of course, you reach max jump height so quickly in this game that a lot of characters don't have that luxury of rising back air, but Inkling is one of them. Oh my gosh, yeah, rising Inkling back air, it, it, it does it all, for being honest. Great parry on the landing forward air. <laughs> Yeah, holding, uh, holding down on that recovery actually might have saved Nitro right there instead of going right to the ledge. Oh my god, he's actually throwing everything at him. Big whip <laughs> coming in, not to kill yet. It was not tippered, thankfully, for uh, for Exax. He just he just opened up the cupboard in the mansion. He just dumped it all out. He was like, yo, take this all. Yeah, absolutely. Here. He opened up the toolbox, just threw it all. I have every tool at my disposal, and I will use it. Yo, I just visited the Home Depot. Black & Decker sponsor me. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, gonna get punished for trying to throw out that holy water, though. Oh, yeah, get out of there. I don't want to be there. <laughs> oh, but great mash. Yeah, Nitro didn't want to be buried in the ground no more either, so you know, even game right now. See if he can set up this ledge guard once again. Oh, jumping right into the axe. That looks like it hurt. A couple more <laughs> percent. I probably would have killed. And yeah, now we're at the situation where XX has to avoid it. And didn't even claim. He's it was, it was put in such a good position where, you know, if he does roller to get back to stage, extend the recovery, give himself mix-up options. Yeah, Nitro had that covered perfectly. He knows that Axe is going to kill at that percent. Mm. Ooh, hitting him with the Axe again on the uh, inking up B. Throws up the Holy Water. Oh, Way boy. too long. Oh. Yeah, 
got yeah. hit by it. I'm not sure if he like tried to drop or I don't think his invincibility ran out. I think he like tried to drop and do something. And all of a sudden we see uh we see Nitro in the same position that Exax had him in in game two, three stock lead and they're not looking good. Yeah, three stocks too, even if he's at higher percent himself, as long as he can just build up a little bit of even just some baby percent, he's in a great position going into this next one. Tried to catch DI with that forwarder. Would've been better off going for that up B afterwards, but this is looking rough for Exax, and Nitro is really trying to end it with an exclamation mark right now. Yeah, can we talk about that uh, that spot dodge for the roll? Let's say, get that out of here, I know that. I know that move. Look at this, oh, getting up man. into it. Yeah. SCI out and was able to air dodge into the stage. Exax hanging on by a thread, but now here comes the Holy Water. Nitro doing such a good job of putting that out at just the right time to cover the recovery, and this looks like it could be it with the inkling at the ledge, but no, the Holy Water wasn't available because he tossed it off stage. Honestly, thank God for, uh, thank God for Exax. Oh, fourth though, that's gonna throw. be it. Yep, throw him away. With <laughs> all of that rage, we'll certainly do it. A big yeet through a big three stock. Yeah, throw, throw inkling away, I don't wanna see it. Yeah, that was a super, super duper solid from Nitro, and that's that, a. That's what you need to do when you're when it's 1-1. One, one. For that game three, you gotta answer with confidence. Three stock, you almost three stock me, I will three stock you. Now XX taking it to Final Destination, which a lot of people are afraid to take a Richter here because they lose those options off a ledge. But, you know, you got to remember, if you take him there, Richter is also losing those options to get off a ledge and challenge you. Get off the ledge to land even. It gets to that point where both characters are like, all right, this is where you really see what their landing options is. So, like, Richter is just going to be that down air, that falling air, sometimes a special. Inkling, back air, probably. <laughs> I mean, you see that these two are fighting on stage right now. Savor it because there's actually not going to be a whole lot of that. There's going to be just a whole lot of ledge trapping, and you're going to learn. If you play Inkling or Richter, you're going to learn how to do it to the other character one way or another. Yeah, both these characters are actually so good at uh, ledge trapping. Inkling, I would say, a little bit better just because Inkling's back here and the things you can do and how you can react, whereas Richter just throws a lot of things. Not to discredit it at all, but I just think In Inkling is a little bit stronger, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, Inkling is a, we can certainly agree on one thing, which is that Inkling is a far more well-rounded character than Belmont is right there. And yeah, caught the no, jump. Yeah, no jump. He lost jump a while ago. As soon as he hit him with that off stage forward, that was a wrap. So, XX, only 100%, but, you know, not too much. Richter needs one good hit, one mm -hmm. tilt, one smash tack. And that I really like there from Exax waiting to react to what Nitro is going to do in the air. And look at this. Just look off of two damage. strings, he's got that 80% built up. And Nitro didn't respect that his own Holy Water was a neutral projectile. It does not belong to him. Oh, and now... Is he dead? Oh, but hey, he's going to take it with him. Stock, though. <laughs> take it with him, Give me dude. that. Sinking the ship to take out the captain, man. Yeah, he was dead. He tried to... I'm sure he tried to actually tether. But you know what? We'll take a stock if I'm going to... If I have to die. Yeah. You definitely want to come out of there with something to show for it. So not too much of a deficit, but you know, still one in deep. Ooh. Yeah, Exax was expecting that uh, that cost to go right back into Nitro's pocket, but because of that upbeat, he was in the air for just a little while longer than expected. And then he forces him to go to ledge with just how perfectly that axe was placed, and it's going to happen again. Oh my oh, goodness! That hurt my soul. He puts himself back into this game with authority. All right, now this is where it gets scary. Now, mash now really quickly again. I don't want to be here. Mm -hmm. Up, uh, no, not throw up there was not gonna kill just yet. What are you gonna do off ledge? So <laughs> scary. Exact I really want a nitro day to do a get up attack, man. Oh, what a perfectly timed uh, neutral get up. Any early and he would've gotten hit. Oh, I like the F tilt into the cross, tries to get a neutral out of it, but wait a minute, this damage is actually building up. Yeah, this is actually looking like this could go in Nitro's favor. One holy water at the ledge, and this is over for Exax. It could be it. Again, not putting it down fast enough, but Already 80%, he's back in this. One wrong Woo. guess with the holy water. He gets him on the ledge, he's probably gonna die. Yeah. Takes one conversion into that forward smash, and Exax is really sharking to close this game out as quickly as possible. Exax is unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, uh, gonna be able to catch him with that roller. I was gonna say, Exax is getting a little too hasty. He really wants his kill, and honestly, I would too. With that, with that lead I had for you to bring it back, I'd be terrified. Mm -hmm. No, and Nitro, and Nitro is really respecting the range that Inkling can make up, and he knows that his threat zone can be encroached by Inkling's existence so much that he needs to expand the stage just to set up that projectile wall and make his threat zone viable. But if you're going to run to the corner and you run out of space, Inkling has one move that can hunt you down and make you hurt for it. And it is, yeah, it is that roller. So really good call out. You knew he was running out of space. Again, he could have done a full hop over, but I don't think he was expecting that option to come out, you know? So game five, we're going to be going back to FD. I believe this is on, this is on Nitro's pick. 
So I'm sure he liked the game, and with that comeback he was mounting, honestly, just do that from the start. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it looked like it. I mean, it, again, like I was saying, Final Destination can be a double-edged sword for either of these two characters in this matchup where, you know, if the if the Belmont gets it started up at the ledge, if he puts you in disadvantage, he can keep you there, but Inkling, you know, can also get around it. Your, your ledge trapping a little bit quicker and you know, keep you there because you don't have the options of the projectiles to cover platforms, such like that. Mm -hmm. Right now, actually off to a pretty good start. Already has Exax at 87, and he hasn't actually given Exax a chance to do the things that Inkling's really good at doing, building up that damage, getting those hits in. He, yeah, he hasn't even gotten a grab yet, and that's where Inkling gets so much damage. Mm -hmm. We saw it last time that uh, that Nair set up uh, the falling Nair into uh, you know a bigger grab combo. Exax made it look crispy clean. Run up jab, gonna get you some damage. Look how painted he is. Okay, they just came back from Nickelodeon uh, Kids Choice Awards. <laughs> yeah, no, he got slimed, my dude. Definitely. Okay, tried to catch him with the sloshing machine right there, but oh, a bit, a bit of an early, early up B. Probably expecting X to hit his shield, but he just didn't do it at all. Oh, that'll do. Attack right there, not gonna be good. I'm surprised that Exax has been, you know, playing such a get-up attack centric game both for his own and for a punish because it's just simply something you're not going to see as much viability of against the Belmont right there. Only gets the sour spot of that up smash. He didn't get the setup hit. So Nitro's going to live to see another day, especially if he can make this recovery back in an excellent tether beats he does. Honestly, you you just saw how time, how much Nitro took into timing it. And he just, he had to do it just right. It was just right. Goldilocks would be proud. Back throw, yeah, I believe up throw up here is now out of uh, the percent window. Ooh. Unfortunate. Excellently placed from Exax. What a splat bomb. That was really just a lot of Inklings are starting to experiment with the with the angles that that bomb can be sent at now and see what they can oh. get off of it. But again, he's not getting a whole lot off of trying to challenge this holy water at the ledge. Yeah, he's still doing those get up attacks like you were saying, and this is not netting him much use. What you really want to do against like the holy water is just want to wait for it to run out and then get up but sometimes like we see nitro do he'll do the one where it, like actually goes off and then hits him so it's really hard to tell but i think if you get good at telling that you can actually make an informed decision mm -hmm. exax has been unfortunately trying to set up a lot of an aerial zone with these back airs and such over near the richter but i think him Boy, just every time he takes to the air, it seems like Nitro has an answer, and if he's playing a little bit more of a grounded game while still respecting those projectiles, it seems like he could possibly get this to a last stock situation, but Nitro just stuffing out everything. Right now, right, Nitro's looking really good. He looks like he's ready to move on to winner's finals the way he's playing, and he needs to make sure he cuts off Exax. And like you were saying, Exax is trying to do this aerial approach, but every time he does it, Nitro just, he has the anti-air form. He knows that everyone's gonna jump against Richter. That's how you get around his projectiles. And he just always knows what to do with the right angle. And of course, not to, not to mention the air-to-air -air that Richter has as well. His forward air is so much bigger than any of Inkling's aerials could possibly want to be. So the fact that he can cover all of that range, look, you see it right there. Exax wanted to jump towards him, but Exax not looking happy about it. The cross oh of the chain God. says no. Oh and my Nitro. God. I, I wish you could have seen it. As soon as the fire hit Exax, as soon as it hit Inkling, he immediately put up the fist. Good games, yeah. 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 He, he knew what's coming, man. It's a, it's a setup character, and it worked out for him. Nitro is going to go to winners' five. finals.